Researchers at the Huntsman Mental Health Institute are leading the largest ever genetic study of suicide in the world. 22 countries are participating in the Psychiatric Genomics Consortium. And as this Healthy Mind Matters report shows, their research could one day help families prevent suicide. Need anything else from the fridge? Dinner time in the Keller household. Skylar Howard class is coming. There you go is not only a time to catch up, it's a time to check up on everyone's mental health. We do, daily almost. That's because suicide has had a devastating impact on their family. I've lost a lot of uh, family and friends. In 2014, my dad called me on an October day and let me know that we'd lost my brother. Two years later, Katie Callor also lost a cousin to suicide. Then in 2019, she lost her sister. Soon after, her other sister became suicidal. I think of all the families that are experiencing this and that they, they go through it, and I, I understand the terror and the constant worry. The DNA of Katie Caller's siblings has been studied by researchers from the Utah Genome Project. For Brandon Caller, the research is not only personal, it's part of his profession. It's a little harder uh, because it, it hits close to home. He's an assistant and researcher at the medical examiner's office, where DNA and data on all suicide deaths in Utah are collected. He helps conduct the psychological autopsies. It was hard to dial the phone and, and wonder what I was going to, what kind of response I'd get on the other end. And as we continued interview after interview, people thanked me. All data and DNA collected by the medical examiner's office is de-identified and sent to researchers. Already, they've discovered 22 genes that could have a role in suicide deaths. Now we're looking at the entire genome, and when we look at all DNA combined, we're actually accounting for a lot of risk. Anna Dougherty is a clinical psychologist and geneticist currently leading research focused on improving genetic prediction of suicide risk. Suicide is not just depression. Other risk factors play a big role. So, uh, for example, ADHD, impulsivity, alcohol use, all play significant roles in increasing someone's risk for suicide. Knowing that families could have that kind of information before they experience a suicide brings Katie Keller a lot of hope. I know that there is so much that we can do and there's so much that we can learn so interesting, the Keller family will be among hundreds of other families participating in the Out of Darkness Walk to Prevent Suicide. It's this Saturday at Veterans Memorial Park in West Jordan. Check-in starts at 9 o'clock and the walk starts at 10. You can find more information on ksltv.com. If you or somebody you know is struggling with thoughts of suicide, call the Suicide Prevention Hotline at 988.